Okay, so one lighter topic here. So, um, okay, so this this story has been really, really fucking fascinating to me over the past couple of days. Okay, okay, here it is. Here, it is. All right. Okay, so, right. DK always I say before, um, was kind of one of the fighters of like the retro stuff back in the day, and they've been around for years. So let's have a look at their 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 prices, right? So, uh, let's let's go for the an older console to like a newer console. Let's, so like let's go with a N six no a uh, a Nintendo Entertainment System. Right, let's let's see. Right. Let's see like a console. Right. Um <clears throat> Okay. Okay, just just like a pack here, right? Of Super Mario one to three, right? Base, you know, a baseline stuff, you know, that way. Um, Mario one with Duck Hunt, Mario two, Mario three, with an, a zapper, you know, pack, two controllers. Uh, <laughs> that's completely insane. Um, the pricing, um, but right, refurbished. <laughs> okay, so okay, a little bit steep, a little bit steep, right? Let, let's let's go to a Super Nintendo, kind of a bit more, um, you yeah. know. I would say there's more Super Nintendos than there are like NESs at this point. Um, just considering how how long the NES was as opposed to the Super NES, so let's just see, and let's just you know the same pack here again the price. Is completely nuts, right? Um. Okay. So let's let's go to let's go somewhere local, right? Somewhere local. Uh, in kind of wouldn't say near me, but uh, I know this place. I've been here before. The Rage in Dublin, Dublin, Ireland. Uh, okay, so, consoles, right, um, so, let's go for it again, let's go for NES and Super NES, let's see how much they go for, uh, I messed up, so, NES, okay, this, okay, the consoles, let's just look, look at them, um, now, sold out for how many? Right, okay. Right, you see where the issue is, right? Now, now, one thing that they do say is refurbish, right? They clean it out, they, you know, they do all the stuff, right? And then yeah, warranty, only warranty. We have to wait. Great, amazing, very good value. But um, recently, uh, people have have not been very happy with DKLs uh, at the minute because of the fact that some of their uh, some. Of a percentage of um 
the console that these YouTubers are getting in the mail um, either are not refurbished or the worst case scenario the worst case scenario is that you spend 300 euro on something that does not work so yeah so we're going to gonna watch this video um, and then we're gonna watch a shit ton of rich rich from Revitech USA because he's been kind of not the for not the forerunner but like he's the first person that I've seen talk about this on like a big platform because you know Rich is over a million subscribers and he has a very big reach uh, a bigger reach than like most retro YouTube channels I'd say um but he did, he did one he got an NES he got a PS2 and he he got a Xbox original and yeah all of them had different stuff wrong with them and they just been going on a war ever since and yeah so that's that's the uh that's kind of the story there with that whole thing um yeah so we're just gonna watch this video as I, like i completely and you know, utterly bonds up this mission on uh on xcom as you know as tradition i guess so um they're just gonna jump in there. Retro gaming. It's a beautiful thing full of people trying to sell the systems that they never use anymore and scammers trying to rip people off of their nostalgia. Thousands of people are selling their old junk collecting dust on places like eBay and Amazon. And if you don't feel like selling it yourself, then there are hundreds of thousands of websites and retro game stores willing to buy your old junk system for like 30 bucks before turning around and selling it for hundreds of dollars. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, you know. Um... I feel like I, I have, I feel like I, I'm kind of in that um, thing of like, uh, I have like a, a collection of, you know, it's not like a, it's a big, it's not like a mass collection of games, but like I do have got like a small collection of like PS2 games I have uh, like acc accumulated 30 years one of, of like going into again the rage you know and like CEX and stuff like that because you get like you get like um PS2 games fucking read dirt cheap because they mass produced the fucking shit out of it <laughs> like 110% they just fucking went like a shotgun, like, bah! It's like everything. That uh, was great. And, like, it's one of these ones where, like, there's there's just so many fucking great PS2 games that, like, people don't really know it exists and whatnot. And, like, that's great for me because like, I can get them, like, dirt fucking cheap. Um, and... My whole squad is fucking dead. What the fuck was that about? God, God, fucking damn it! Fuck. We, I just got fucking annihilated, man. Oh god. And none of these online retro game stores are more well known than BK Oldies. Yeah, as I said, saying though, um, yeah, like, I have like you know. A medium sort of collection of the like, PS2 games and whatnot. And that's you know, that's my claim to fame, I guess. <gasps> but um, yeah, but I I would never uh, try and collect, you know, NES, Super NES, uh, you know, or just like the, the ones 
that are like the collections that are like really really sought after because you're not going to get like a good deal out of them you know, you're not going to get like a really really good deal out of any of them at the minute you know I think like now it's you know I think it's like the new thing is the GameCube thing uh, or the new the new uh, thing to collect is the GameCube I'm like uh, I'll probably go on to like Xbox but like I need to like find Xbox first but like that's the you know that's one that's one console that I'm like yeah the Xbox has had some really good games and then Halo you know <laughs> then Halo 2 just kind of like dwarfed everything but like I, I, cause it, there's one game that I've always I've always always wanted to play and like it never came out on PS2 was um what's it called again uh Obi-1 the Obi-1 game um I've always wanted to play that game, and I I saw it as a kid, uh, as like a like a ten year old something like that. So basically, it, um, and I I I seen that and like think, oh my god, like this would have been amazing on PS two. Why is not on the PS two? All I had was PS two, but uh, you know, and like and like a few months ago actually, um. Rage had a copy of it, and I went in about a week after. Hey, you still have that copy of like Ob One on the Xbox? I was gone. It's like ah fuck. But I love to play a game. I absolutely love to play a game. Might do it on stream actually if I get the chance to do it. I'll do it on stream. Cause so, uh, I've always wanted to play a game. Cause it, just looked really uh, interesting. Because uh, like I I I played, the <laughs> I played the, the first um, two levels of um, what's it called? Uh, Bounty Hunter, like a thousand times over. Because <laughs> like I didn't have like uh I didn't have a um. A memory card back in the day because like, I, I just got a uh, a, P a PS1 memory card and so I thought like oh yeah this would work obviously not um, and like that was always really funny to me that was like just a, a fucking n naive kid thinking like your PS1 you know is going to how is your PS2, you know, save games and whatnot? I thought that was funny. <laughs> no, but the thing with that was, right, like, I don't know, like, if it was. The DualShock 1. I remember you could, you could use that in. You could use that on PS2. And I, I, I remember that. I absolutely remember that. And then, um, yeah, I absolutely remember that. And then, like, you could play, like, all the old uh, PS1 one game there, PS2. I thought that was, like, a really cool idea. But, like, oh my god, we just got absolutely fucked on that. Since then, I basically never looked at DK Oldies again. That was until recently, where they've seemingly been trying a new marketing strategy on TikTok over the past year, which has really been paying off with a bunch of their videos appearing on mine and many other people's TikTok feeds, which has led to a lot of people realizing how big of a fucking scam this whole website is. This yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, there was a really, really fun one there yesterday I seen. Um, it was on like the yeah. Uh, I fucking hate this mission. Actually, fuck, can I just save? No? What can I save? Okay. Um. 
Yeah, no, so like, I, I think it's like a, I think it's like a rapper or something like that. Uh, yeah. He bought like, he got like a, an N, like an N64. And he bought like a, um, N64 and he bought something else. He bought like, N64 and like a, a, a Super Nintendo with like a with like five games each or something like that and uh, when the comments was like <laughs> R.I.P. is back account <laughs> And this is essentially how they get you they're the first website to pop up all the marketing it's super simple to buy stuff off their website and they're the only real website dedicated to selling exclusively retro stuff so you don't have to drive anywhere just go on their website search for what you want and it'll show up to your house in about a week and in my opinion that's a wonderful concept as an avid collector of retro things having a website dedicated to this niche is great but the people behind these prices have accommodated for inflation that doesn't fucking exist yet they have accommodated for inflation in the year 2135 because every single yeah, right. Yeah, here's where kind of the rubber, the rubber meets the road, where um because how should I put this um the the issue that to be we're having with this is that um. They're not refurbishing <laughs> when they when they say they are, um, because there's a lot of a lot of um people online who showed their stuff not working for one, um, or not refurbished at all, as in they they didn't even clean inside it. So that's an issue. That, like you say you're refurbishing all these old consoles and you're not doing that so that's a bit of an issue um, a bit of an issue it's an understatement of the century so we personally perfectly honest with you right the whole this whole thing of like you need to do it on actual software it's just completely fucking nonsense to me I do everything through emulation and I have I've got zero issues. No issues whatsoever. Like years ago, yeah, because like our computer was like you couldn't do it on like years ago because technology the technology that we had wasn't, you know, sustainable for that. That's fine. But like nowadays, like I I have like every single like thing that I need through emulation to you know those means and whatnot. I couldn't give a shit about um like collecting in that sense if you get what I mean uh. It's like for me, it's, it's, it's it, you know, uh, yeah, I collect, you know, I collect uh, PS2 games and whatnot, but like, I always back them up, I, I'm by myself, on my own, you know, it's a way, and like, when I have them there, and they, they can't, run anymore I, I I can just play them huh. it's missing oh, huh. there is only three screws in the back of this dirty ass controller is DK Odie's a scam god damn the hell I sincerely don't know how like they actually do that um because, like, you know, it was, again, as I said before, I think Rich said there, 
if if this is like just you know oh you know it's 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 a barely functioning NES you know people are just kind of like okay like I'll pay you know a weird price for it and whatnot and, you know it's a way but like blah. Uh, you know, like, it's just, like, again, it's just this thing of, like, okay, they are just charging people for, like, they say that they do all this stuff with the consoles and whatnot, clearly that's not the case, or, what we've seen that's not the case at all so like i don't know man and, like i don't know how you get i don't know how like you know they are making money right they're making like money hand over fist like kind of the normies that really don't like care about you know, the preservation of like games and whatnot, they just want something for you know something for their loved one partner and whatnot. So they're gonna pay out the ass for something that's not even that expensive with system market that they do. I swear to god they don't give them my money back on this. I spent three hundred dollars on this system. Three hundred. You could get one in the same, if not better, condition for a third of the price. Buddy, you're cute. That guy with that blonde hair, he's a handsome man. He's a real <laughs> handsome man. I'm <laughs> Yeah, no, so like I think it was like in the last read that we that we didn't cover, but um Yeah, so what they do is they put on like this like uh this fucking sticker so like, if you tamper with the console you try and you know you know you try and uh, get your money back whatever if you like actually do something with the console they'll know because like the sticker has like this kind of weird uh like the sticker's weird so like they, they'll know if like you tampered with the console or not that's fucking wild. Oh yeah, in this part. Yeah. Yeah, no, so like, again, they say they refurbish kind of like everything in the console as well. But like, didn't fucking do anything to like, the games as well, you know? Like, that's just laziness on like a other level. You know, like, and like, we're just gonna just show you, like, it's not like hard to uh, clean these fucking games, you know. Um, they're already a scam. Like, we could stop the, I could stop the video here, have the outro, and be like, yeah, don't buy shit from DK Obi. So, um, I don't have high hopes for what's going to come off on this Q-tip. Let's see. Just doing this. That's all you had to do. And if I open this up, I don't have high hopes. I'm actually going to use it first to see if it works. Then open it up. If this was actually cleaned internally, you know, maybe recapped, uh, all the dust blown out, and made to look like new still a high price but i i would swallow the the jagged pill he is a scam i don't know like you see here's here's and here's the reason why i'm saying that right is that like it's so it's so easy to make a video fashion I'm saying like oh this shit don't work and uh, you know da, 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 right but like it's so easy to like um 
So we should console what not. Is it like around that, you know? I know, but like it's not a good look and like they're deleting comments as well. They put out a video. Um we might actually just take a look at this as well. Um boost it up here now. Because they actually made a video about how they quote unquote refurbish their stuff and like people just ate them alive in um in the comments. Like they went fucking scorched earth on them. And they um Yeah. Oh. Oh, breaking news, okay. Um, we'll have a look, we'll have a look at that, but like, I want to just find that video. See, I think 11 games here. for 35 bucks. See, and then you go here, and the videos, videos, and then, yeah, this one, right? So, I think it's best if we watch this, and then like we kind of take a look at Rich's video, and then like call it night. Or uh, yeah. Every day, tons of new collections get sold to us here at DKOTs. Let's take a look at this one, for example, and let's check out everything that has to happen to this Wii before we can list it for sale and it finds a new home. First, it gets picked up by our testing department, and it gets thoroughly checked out to see if there's anything that needs to be repaired. In this case, the Wii isn't reading discs, so it's going to need to head to our repairs department to get a new laser installed. Our technician, Sean, opens up the console, and while it's open, he'll blow out any dust or debris that may be inside. Then he'll clean out the yeah, you see, the like, panels, like all the blades on the fan. But, like, we've, well, we've seen, we haven't seen, actually, we haven't actually seen this, but, like, we go on to, like, the second one, where Rich buys, like, the, uh, PS2, right? Like, there's, like, a fucking sheen in the PS2, like, on the actual, like, system, there's a sheen on it, like, what the hell is this? Like, he doesn't know why there's a sheen on the PS2, you know? But the, that's not the worst part of it. The worst part is when they actually, like, when him and his dad actually, like, opened up. It would have been and like, all over the top of that in the dirt that was there. Yeah, you no. Know, you would have seen people's fingers. Mine are there. Now, hey, look on the side. You see dust here? Where I'm touching it? Sorry. It was all dusty. Oh, so there's a, there's a corner. Dusted. Yeah, like that, like... And they say, like, they, um, they say that, like, oh, the refurbish, that means, like, they go in, they clean it, and, you know, all that stuff. They don't. Or in this case, they didn't, you know? But there's just so many videos for this, you know. Like, I, I could just show you, like, the videos that are out there at the minute, right? Of, like, people just... Completely knocking them. Where the fuck is that video? Oh, right there. I was just like, these, like, people just. People just. Absolutely fucking nailing them to the, to, to the wall with, like, stuff. This is probably the worst that I've seen. Just far. Now. You know, uh, like, to be, f to be completely honest, this could be, like, a stage thing, but I, 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 I'm really not sure. I'm not saying, like, this guy, like, did anything wrong or whatever. I'm not saying, like, this guy is, like, a shitty character or whatever. But, you know, anybody could, like, 
Because the others have like two. Um, the others have two um, consoles. And like, you know, it'd be so easy to, you know, take out one and saying this is the one for DKOs when it's actually not, you know, like, that, I'm not saying like him, I'm not saying like outwardly, like he, he did it, but I'm saying so, it's just very easy to do like something like this and get viral, you know, off it, you know, but like, just, like, take the game out, take a look at this though, game. right, like, this is of DKOE, absolutely a huge company who sells tons and tons of Nintendo 64 games to tell their customers to blow into their cartridges, which is probably damaging every single one of them. That is absolutely crazy to me. So they go on to yeah. say, it may This is absolutely completely not the insane stuff right here. Um, and like, again, they open up the console and it's. It looks like fucking trash, you know? It looks like complete garbage. You know, they're not cleaning it, they're not doing any. You weren't the prices that they're asking for. You know, it's just insane. Completely insane, you know? But like, just, you can see the fucking dirt on it, man, you know? And like, oh yeah, this is fine, you know. Oh sure, you know. Boost this up for like two hundred euro. But I, I think, um, look at it, man. It's fucking disgusting. You tell all this shit here, you know. Uh, grape scar, you know, so I like different types of stuff. I don't know what the fuck's happened here. Like right there, you can see him. I don't know what the fuck that, but like, this doesn't look refurbished to me. It looks like, you know, just completely. Oh, that is that looks a little nicer. It looks like on the inside, so I'm gonna refurbish it actually for them. So that way, when I go to send it back to them, and they send it right back out to another customer. Yeah, no, sorry, I don't know what I was saying. There, I uh, can see the fucking shit here. Shit over there. This is completely insane. The customer is actually gonna get what they ordered. So let's go ahead, clean this thing up, and see if we can refurbish it. Yeah, of course, we're not gonna just watch, watch all this. But, uh, yeah, no, like, this is nuts what's happening here <clears throat> i think this is gonna be a big story like generally i think it's gonna be like a very big story uh if somebody you know makes a video uh like and even like bigger i say uh, bigger like um channel the rich if they t if they pick it up it's gonna be fucking massive it's gonna be absolutely huge um yeah like jesus man like and like you can see it you know just going down the line here this guy here kind of was the antithesis of like the first person to like get something not working from DKLDs, I think he's kind of one of the first people to like speak out about this type of stuff, and like he's just been kind of keeping up to date and whatnot, and you know. Every just 
you know, because like the price is okay, and um, you can you can kind of go around that whole thing because of the fact that they're refurbishing these consoles and whatnot and shit like that, right? But if you're not doing that, you're just kind of like upping the price <laughs> to like no reason or for no reason at all. So, but again, it's going to need to go like so weird. This is a strange, you know, story. Um, we're actually just going to watch Rich, Rich News videos there two hours ago. Uh, right before I started streaming, by the way. No, that's kind of cool. Uh, we're just going to watch this. Probably two times free as well, so. Uh, fun fact, if you're wondering why you don't see the normal microphone in front of me, it's because when I was live streaming, I had the mic on a boom arm. I tried to move it down to you so my audience could hear one of my farts. They were very excited. It was a very powerful fart. Um, that's why you should watch my streams, because my farts are strong and powerful and masculine, and the mic stand ripped out of the table, because I pulled it too far. Skip it up and that up. RTU streams are the best stuff on YouTube. Um, period. Uh, I love, I love stuff. I, I love... Uh, <laughs> I always loved Rich's stuff, uh, you know, ever since I found his channel. Uh, but yeah, no, he's just really great, kind of great. Uh, yeah, a big massive props to him as well for doing it for so long as well. Like, kind of YouTube fucking him over constantly, so. <laughs> so I usually don't like making videos just on straight up comments because it reminds me of someone else who uh, is a big fan of mine. I just peed in my basement. But this one hits different and that's why I'm making a video on this because when you're trying to question my entire credibility and saying that I'm going to put my career and my YouTube channel on the line just to make up lies about a company for reasons, yeah, I'm going to come at you and call you out. So as you know, uh, I have been making videos on DK Oldies, Jacob R has been making videos, countless other people have been making videos exposing them. Who is DK Oldies? I'll give you the Super Cliff Notes version, because if you're watching this channel, chances are you already know the scenario. But DK Oldies sells retro consoles. That in and of itself isn't a big deal. Even if they sold the consoles at insanely expensive prices, that in and of itself isn't a big deal. Uh, you are the person purchasing them. If you don't do your due diligence and you purchase something overpriced, that is on you. True. Where people like Jacob R and I have a problem is they are telling people and making videos and showing people that they are refurbishing their consoles and they factually aren't. I have opened up a Nintendo Entertainment System from DK Oldies, a PlayStation 2 from DK Oldies, which came broken. Uh, the NES actually came with a chip in it too, a big chip in it. Uh, they were all completely dirty. Okay, there was no refurbishing done to them. And the Xbox didn't even read discs that I got from them. And on top of it, too, there were swollen caps inside. They did no refurbishing to any of these consoles. And the bigger kicker about the Xbox that I purchased, because maybe you're thinking, Rich, right, at this point, they're just being malicious and doing this to you at per on purpose. I thought of that and sent it to a random address that they did not know, the Xbox. I said... Oh, yeah, so... The, uh, the last uh, video that, that Rich made, as he, as he said there, he, um, he thought that, like, these guys, like, were trying to pull, like, a fast one on them, I guess. But, like, one thing that, like, I will say, like, to Rich, there is, a, like, the, um, I don't think it's, it's a, uh, a viral marketing thing, because, like, why would they do that, you know, the way? And, like, he said it on occasions, but, like, I, I don't agree with him on that, so... But like, uh, just yeah. So what what he did was he got like a fake address and whatnot, and then um, he essentially bought a um a Xbox uh, original. Uh, uh, again, he said it in video, and it didn't work. Um, now. Obviously, right, as I said before. 
I no doubt I do think that 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 one that Rich got didn't work. However, I I trust Rich more than I trust other people, if that makes sense. Um, because I've been watching him for years. I know his, you know, what he views as you know, grifting. What he, you know, I get rich, um, and I sincerely believe that, uh, what when Rich got those consoles, I believe that they didn't work. Basically, so you know, it's kind of one of these things where. Like, I can see where people could misinterpret why people are making these videos. I can understand because again it's so easy it could it can be so easy to fake something like this to stage something yeah that's the way it only takes literally a few seconds to stage something like this or to stay the video in like a way to like you know DK always um uh, you know scam me you know it's right like it, it could be so easy to do that um but I believe Rich um is telling the truth uh, and again I'm not I'm not saying that I don't believe all of them but i believe rich um so yeah that's my stance sent it to a random one so they didn't know it was coming for me so they couldn't do anything on purpose so this is just what dk oldies does they say that they're refurbishing these consoles so it gives them an excuse to sell them at exorbitant prices these old consoles that you could get for like three times cheaper anywhere else they slap literally slap a fake sticker on the bottom like a tamper sticker which they shouldn't be doing they're they're essentially oh we went inside of it here's a sticker to prove it don't go inside because you'd be tampering with a product and that would void the warranty even if it's not what they're doing the sticker's there to make it like they worked inside of it this is that that's what the real problem is so you're just essentially buying junk thinking that you're not buying junk because they're doing a thorough job refurbishing these consoles and that's the reason they could justify the insane prices but they're not doing that that's like if i had a car detail shop yeah. you came in with your car to get it detailed it comes out looking just as dirty and i'm like oh, no it's clean yeah and that's that's the issue like you're having it's not it's not to do with the uh the prices who cares whatever it's nurture at the end of the day right but the the problem is the prices are not cohesive to what you're getting dkoldies.com with the check mark next to their name this came from jacob r uh he screen capped it some people just want to spread hate and others are jealous of our success i i, I don't even understand oh my god it's a, it's a 13 year old response man what the fuck is that what the fuck is that cringe man Jesus Christ. Yeah, so what are you saying, DKLDs? I mailed myself packages looking like they were from you, and I put broken consoles inside? Explain that to me. I'm not... Let's... 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 Think... About... If that was true. Really? Let's think about that, right? Rich's child... And like every single other channel that did that, their reputation would be in fucking ruins. Um, that like their whole thing would be absolutely fucking ripped to shreds if they did that. Like no one would believe them ever again. That's totally fucking nuts. Why would they do that, you know? And again, as a pure, maybe there is some fucking no subscriber person out there thinking that, oh, you know, maybe if I say something, you know, maybe I can get views off and whatnot. And maybe a ritual talk about on his channel and whatnot. And then, like, 
that can happen. I agree there, but like that response, man. Listen, like a, like a turkey, you know, would say. <laughs> Thank God. I'm just gonna keep making fun videos. Yeah, it definitely is, Joey. And spreading the love of retro gaming. Is that before or after you broke a really expensive Game Boy Advance SP that was rare and thought it was a fake one, and then you were like, "Oops!" But it, it, don't let it stop you, Joey. Look, I have a feeling that now people are Hold aware on. of what's going on with the ALDs, and I hope that Look. I'm part of that. Uh, um, that they're gonna be in the same boat as Artisan Hill. Hold up. What? Is that true? Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Okay, uh, new tab here. Sorry. Um, I'm just. Well, okay. <laughs> that's that's the claim and a half. Um. <laughs> Live investigations here on Speed Your Channel. <laughs> okay, hold on. So, were these the ones that were rare? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no. No fucking <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I can't, I cannot, I cannot, that, that's the, I'm not even joking about that, that's the thing of the most funniest fucking thing I've ever seen before, them fucking destroying the, the re re Game Boy SP, <laughs> oh Christ, that's funny, that's absolutely so fucking funny.